All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for meditating on these words. Uh, it's great. And what is given. That's totally amazing. So I'm happy to 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 uh, be inspired to receive this and to to extend it, to give it away. And that which fits perfectly in today's idea of, say, power, if you want, it's like power. <clears throat> so the the there are a couple of ideas that I would love to share regarding the idea of power, because we see this in the teachings of Joel, we see this in in the Course in Miracles, everywhere. There's always like power. What is power? Am I using God's power to do something? Or how does this actually work? And um, so, yeah, today I hope to say to bring some light on the subject, so to speak, to 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 really give you something that is um, makes it so clear. Like there are a couple of um, metaphors, in fact, that you can use to express this, and and one of them, um, see. I, I can amend I can mention it immediately, but it's, it basically is it is like this that like it all has consequences that what you receive as information for yourself has a consequence for you in terms of you you cannot not hear it when you hear it. And when you hear it, in fact, you you will teach it differently. you will demonstrate it differently. and and that's and that's the whole uh, say, transformational process that you're undergoing as soon as you remember something in the present like oh yes i forgot like joy is eternal I, yes when i experience joy in to the deepest in, in myself uh, it completely takes me over it has nothing to do with my ideas about it it completely takes me over that intensity is is um, say in normal, so in my natural place where I actually belong, and um, so in in our transformational process, you see we accept an idea, but then in fact you start to apply it, and you you want to give from there. So so it is with this metaphor that I'm going to share with you, which is this: it's like that's the the same in the earthly ways, in the human ways, as is in the heavenly ways. And what is that? It's like, you did not create your parents, right? You did not create your parents. You you were born out of your parents, like you were born out of your mother, so to speak. You are born, that's the direction. You did not create your mother. And um, so that, that's one thing. You know, the same with your heavenly father created you. So now you can create an image of your father, but that's not you. Now, to make this very clear, um, it would be like this. Um, the drawings that you made of your dad, for instance, or if you did, or your mom, um, as a child, you made a, pictures of, of them. You made an image of them. And of course, it looked great and it was very lovely and loving, but it didn't represent really your parent, right? There was an image of it. And so it is with you trying to create an image of God. It has yeah, like, you can do it. Of course, you can make an image of it. Yeah, that's fine. But it, it will tell you nothing about, about God, about everything that truly is about the love that created you and will tell you nothing about it. So that's that's a nice metaphor like to to get how this works. But there's a reason for it too. Like why is this so important that God created me instead of that I created God or maybe we created each other? Why not that? Well there's a reason for that. And that's and that's a lovely reason. So I I just found out and I, I can't hold it for myself. I need to share this. So that is that is so great too. 
it's like a little child who cannot say like well i got here a present for you mom but uh, it smells very nice and you can spray it right here and right there but i'm not going to tell you what it is it's a bit like that so so the same here with um with what you give to god you know what so coming back to the expression coming back to the expression of giving you know and extending why is it that way why did you not create god why did you not do that there's a very specific reason and and this is the reason why and it makes total sense god created you as an extension of himself so that means he created you out of himself he created you as the love that you are right so you can you can still conceptually get that too it's like yes of course god created me yeah so this means that he in fact takes care of all that you are all that you are so this entails the idea that you don't have to make anything yourself you don't have to make an image of god or of yourself that that uh, should be you you know so it's like all the ideas that i hold about myself is not what i am because god created me in the image and likeness of himself so if there's such thing as perfection which which uh, there is i was created out of perfection so we know this we know this too so conceptually you can even get that too but then there's the next thing it's like it is not reciprocal that means god gives to you and you give like extend yourself that's the direction like god gives you everything you're literally the instrument of extension extending into into the sonship into you know into this into the sonship that's that's a nice way to say it like you extend into the sonship that goes through it flows through you you're the instrument uh, joel tells us this or two all the time it's like it flows through you become an instrument of truth that's the direction so it always goes it expands it goes to the outside it goes into the kingdom it goes you know you give it away literally and and that is a really important um principle it extends through you into the sonship so all the light every gift that you have received like we said in the meditation too you can only uh, give the gifts that you have received that you recognize as your gifts otherwise you can't extend it so anyway so that that is an essential part you extend into the sonship so if it would be different for instance that god created you and you created god it literally would would yeah not be able to expand it would be a closed process it would be a closed system and why is that impossible well that is there's a reason for that too so it is not possible that it is an enclosed idea because it literally like love creates you to extend through you and and it cannot like and this is the lovely part of it it cannot contain itself it cannot contain itself and if you contemplate on that idea to let it sink in deeply you burst you know you literally start to burst yourself if you hear it you start to burst out it's like yes of course you know it's like joy extends forever it's an eternal extension eternal creation joy extends creates ex eternally and cannot contain itself love cannot contain itself and 
that's why it's so different than than the say the principles of humanhood. Everyone tries to contain himself in human perspective. You try to you're like, well, not too much, you know. I know. Not me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I laughed a bit too loud, or this or that. Like you try to contain yourself continuously. Love, in the contra on the contrary, is not able to to contain itself. It is so full of passion and life. It is impossible that it can contain itself. This is you. So, in other words. If you hear this, what I'm saying, if you say start to accept that for yourself and want to start to demonstrate that, you have to allow yourself to lose your containment, literally, your containment of uh, self-image, your containment of self-definition, of limitation, of self-imposed limitation like every aspect of humanhood in fact you everything is based on limitation and, and yeah knowing your place um, privacy like no no so in fact this is like dropping all your defenses and allowing the love that cannot contain itself to flow literally right through you into the sonship no matter what happens with that, like uncontrollable, uncontainable, you just do it the way that you it flows through you. And it's perfect. And it's whole and it's complete. And it's you extending yourself, extending God through you, the love that you are through you into this sonship. So I thought that was such an amazing discovery and also so clear how this works and why this is that I needed to share that with you. So an essential part in, in the, say, the power um, subject or the power term that we use here. So that is, that's one part of this. So now I actually need your active participation we we i will put up an um whiteboard and i would love you to um to write down what you want to drop as an idea about power so like, what idea did you give a lot of power but you actually want to get rid of it now well here's your chance write down where you want to get rid of All right, so there's a lot of uh, stuff we can leave behind now. I'm not even going to mention it. So you you did, you put it here. Thank you for sharing that. So we hand it over. There's one way of doing that. <laughs> All right, thank you for your participation in this. That's really, really great. So it's one way to to get rid of it like oops sorry it's like one way to get rid of it just to write it down it's like okay i don't need this any longer 
take it from me. I don't want it any longer. And and there's there's a provision. There's something else. I I love the something else. I love to newly discover, um, say, new ways for me to extend myself, coming f- from the inspiration from say my creator, extending through me. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what it exactly means, but it is what I want. I want to be in alignment with that. That is our opportunity here. And that is um, and that's so great. So that that works. That works. The rest doesn't.